with uh, early trend showing that uh, KCR is actually training from Kamareddy, but he is con contesting from two constituencies. Uh, that is from Telangana. According to postal ballot trends, Congress leading in 27 seats. This is again from Telangana. And BRS is ahead in 17 seats. Uh, let's go to Chhattisgarh now. Congress ahead 24 seats, BJP leading on 18. Again, Chhattisgarh a small state, the halfway mark is just at 45 in an assembly of 90. Mm. Let's also look at Rajasthan, where actually these numbers have not got updated. We'll come back to that once those numbers are in. Mm, yeah. So, so it, it's interesting, you know, I mean, we're, we're early, still early stages. See, we're still in, in the <coughs> postal ballot counting and we've seen how in the past the story changes very dramatically. Moment you move past nine years. So hold on your horses, folks. It's a Sunday morning. It's also the, the last T20 match today between India and Australia. So I'm wondering, that's you know, dead rubber, though. that's dead rubber. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I wonder, I wonder whether this round of assembly elections, you know, for all the excitement which is generating, suddenly we'll be looking at it, what as dead rubber on the road to 2024. But you know, but Swatiji, if, if if you're still there, maybe a quick word from you too, Swatiji. You know, the BJP has fought these elections in the name of collective leadership, whether it's in Rajasthan or in uh, or in Madhya Pradesh. Is the Congress very, very clear? All the battles which are being fought in Chhattisgarh between Mr. Deo and Mr. Baghel or in Rajasthan between Mr. Gelot and Mr. Pilot, has all that really been settled, Swatiji? Absolutely, Bupin. If you recall, the same thing was said about Karnataka as well. There was apparently a big dispute within the internal leadership, state leadership of Karnataka as well. We won it, we formed the government, and it's running very smoothly. And when you're talking about freebies, I just want to come in there as well. When you talk about freebies, you know, it's very, it's a strange uh, term coined by the prime minister that when the other governments, other, other parties uh, promise something, it's called rebadies. When he does it, it is welfare scheme, right? But I'll just coin it as welfare scheme. Let's just put it that way. So what the people are also seeing now is not just promises being made. With the Congress, they have seen these promises being implemented, be it Karnataka, be it Himachal Pradesh. Karnataka, out of five, we out, within 100 days, five of those promises were already rolled out. And you would have seen Himachal as well, the old pension scheme, etc. Everything has been, whatever you're promising, we have promised, we are implementing it. Unlike the other uh, parties or unlike the BJP, which only comes and, you know, even if you see Mr. Modi's uh, speeches, election speeches, they are more of, you know, uh, one line here, one there, one there, uh, personal attacks, but he doesn't really, or, you know, calling other parties as Revdi or whatever terms he uses and getting sensitive about what is being said about him. So he just makes it very personal. He forgets that he's there as a leader. He's supposed to go and tell the people that this is what we promised. This is what we have implemented. This is what we are promising you now. And therefore, you should vote for us. But he just changes the narrative to make it, you know, just a little personal. And I don't know. I mean, who's even? Uh, it's, yes. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews, and explainers. Follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.